Hello, Green Ridge. Great to be with you today. Good to be here. And, and while I'm thinking today about the statement, what's old is new again. You've heard that, right? Absolutely. And, and we're thinking about this within the context of some of the news articles that are out there about our current marketplace. Uh, there was an article in MLive just this week that talked about uh, our market being a, like a log jam for buyers and, and really painting things in something of a worrisome light. Now, we're pragmatic enough to know that every market has its challenges and this one is no different. Uh, we anticipate that inventory is going to be low this year. We anticipate there are going to be multiple offers. We anticipate that prices are going to be rising. And all of those can lead to uh, a challenge, especially for buyers in this market, and also for our sellers who are going to be buyers. But what do we want to say about that? That's the question to, to us and to each of you. Yeah, I mean, we feel that that's where we can change the conversation. Let's be realistic. Yes, these challenges present themselves in this market, but in any market, we have a set of challenges. Do you remember 2009? A little bit. Yeah, yes. we try to forget it, but we were having similar conversations with sellers. What we can do now is go back to some of the tactics that we used last year in market to move. What's old is new again. We're still holding true that we can be the professional. We can be the person that's networking within our offices, networking within our social groups, going out there and finding inventory to help move these clients through the system. It's not as negative as people want to as people want to paint it. Let's face it. Part of the problem we're experiencing is that West Michigan is a great place to live. And we have a lot of people that want to want to come here and want to experience that. So it's our jobs to go out there and paint a positive picture for them and to let them know that we can be the ones to go out there and help them find what they're looking for. And we want to instill in you again today what we believe right down to our toes, and that's this, that you are especially equipped to handle a challenging market like we've got and that it's in these challenging markets that your value increases greatly to both buyers and sellers. And so we say uh, hone those skills, practice objection handling with people in your office, network with agents, uh, take advantage of learning opportunities, and stay tuned in to some of the current news and stats that are out there. I think if we keep that positive mindset, if we keep looking ahead, we're going to have an attractiveness that draws both buyers and sellers, and that together we're going to continue to win more. Yeah. And lastly, we want you to think about what you're talking about and how you're putting the spin on it. Make sure you're using the appropriate words and uh, phrases to keep people moving forward. Staying positive has a major impact in a market where there can be some stress. So we encourage you to be out there changing that conversation because it's within your power to do so. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Go confidently. Make it a great day.